to 35 wide type of structure, which is commercial. Welcome back, Pack. This is Advil from Wolf Steel Buildings, and uh, we're out here in Red Oak, Texas. This is south of Dallas, pretty close to us. We are based out of Fort Worth, so it wasn't a far drive for me this time. But I'm about to show you guys an awesome building. This is a tubular bolt up that you're seeing behind me, and this is a it's a tubular bolt up. It is a 35 wide by 35 long, and we're about to check this building out. So let's get this started. So guys, what we're looking at is a 35 wide by 35 long. This is 10 foot on the eaves. It is rising about 15 foot to the peak. This building, I love this web trussing. This is a tubular bolt up. And uh, this is engineered for 120 miles per hour. So it is engineer certified and rated. Right here, a customer did something cool because they want to be able to access their backyard. They are putting the panel door here and then a panel door in the back. And that way they can just drive straight through. Man, this is just a beautiful building. Check out the trussing. Super sturdy. Now we will have a window up here. Customer wanted the windows up so that way they could shine in instead of your normal about 33 feet. Uh, from the ground they actually wanted it on the top it will be parking their trailer and uh, motorcycle and a lot of stuff from their garage out here actually just moved from out of state got this new brand new home man check out check out the trussing sort of studs they do take away about a foot in they're about 10 foot spacing you can see we've already ran all the girts and the purlins. We got the paneling to work on. This is our standard mobile home door. Very cost effective, but good door. The only negative side is if you, you do, it, it does sit on the base rail. And, uh, but if you're okay with it, no problem. This is going away. This is just used to, to plumb uh the building and here's how we anchor it we use these l plates and we bolt them inside we use the concrete expansion anchors we drill a hole and then we pound them inside and they lock themselves in and there are also anchors all along the base rail What you see in the white backing is our radiant barrier insulation. So it basically protects from radiant energy. Uh, check it out. And uh, it does keep the building cool. Now, if you're trying to cut climate control, I would recommend more like fiberglass or spray foam, which is the best. But to just have it as a garage and just try to keep it cool, this is a really great uh insulation for that mm, see how accurate it is pretty good this is all galvanized square tubing uh, cut into make this form in this shape uh, we, we, we call it web trussing so what is galvanized? So galvanized is like a, it's a coating that is added to the steel tubes and that coating is uh, zinc and it protects from rust. You see it a lot in uh, road signage. Super nice building. Again, this is about a three day project and it's done. Customer did his own concrete, but we also offer concrete. So it's something that you can definitely consider 
one of the things I like about having the per the girts running on your uh, on your side is that's where you can run your electric. So all your your uh, conduits, or even just that's where you can run the electric cables. Well, guys, I hope you learned something. This is an awesome building, and. Uh, Stay tuned because we're going to be showing the finished product. It's going to be all red siding, all red metal. And then the, the roof is going to be gray. So it's going to look super sharp. It's really going to stand out. Uh, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comments and I'll answer them whether by responding to that comment or maybe even creating a video. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.